Hi foodies, how many of you love a lovely codfish here with cabbage and tomato fried down really nicely with lots of pimento peppers and onion? What would you have with this? That's right, lovely coconut baked homemade. Come on in, let's get Big red beautiful pot. I have here codfish and tomato frying up in some vegetable oil. My dear foodies, you just take that pack of codfish out, give it a good little rinse. I'm using two packets of 12 ounce each. So give it a nice soak, rinse and soak overnight. Now the next day what I did, I put it up in the pot and I let it boil. Yep, you're gonna give it a good boil and you're gonna take the rest of the salt out. But we, be mindful we don't want to take all the salt out because we're gonna be making some lovely codfish stew here with tomato and some cabbage in there. So now that it's all boiled, what I did, I put the pot up, I add added my codfish and I just start breaking them up in here to loose them very nicely. And I like a lovely crunchy codfish. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna add your onions in there with that one little hot pepper and I added two pimento peppers and now I'm giving it a good fry. This codfish look nice now, so what I like to do is to add some crayfish powder to bring back that nice fishiness in there because you know we boil most of it out and now in goes all that lovely stuff that we cut up. So we may need to add a little bit of salt to this because you know we did so much soaking and boiling. So let's just give this a nice touch. We're going to lower the heat because I like my cabbage crunchy in my dish. Let's take a look now. So we have that fish powder in there and I want to add just a little hint of salt because I taste it a little bit and yep, it does need salt. And guess what my dear foodies, this is all done. Because you do not want to cook it too much. The tomato if you wish, so you can leave it for a little bit. Let the tomato melt up a little bit in there. But I like my cabbage as I say crunchy and there you go. Simple and easy do it. Two tomato cabbage nice fresh green whole pimento pepper from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago and then you swap it in a lovely crunchy fried hot fish so there you go foodies our lovely codfish here and this bake so there's lots of recipe on the on the page you could take a look at how to make this bake and I want to show to you how beautiful it is look at that Squeeze that in, let it go, pump back, right back out. So this could be a lovely breakfast, it could be a lunch, it could be a dinner, it could be an any time. So just give that a nice little cut. Look at the thickness. You know I'm going to enjoy this. And all you got to do, just fill that up. Look at that delightful codfish here with your cabbage and your tomato. Simple and easy. Nice big pieces. Give it a good little wash the same way I say to you to do it. Give it a nice little wash. Put that right there. You're going to wash it. You're going to soak it and let everything fall all over that lovely cutting board. Only at Jenny's Walk. Simple and easy to do it. Enjoy this delightful dish here. You could make it anytime. Entice your friends, your friends who don't belong to the island and just show them the flavors that we carry over here. Jenny's Walk. Always bringing great flavors to the table. Enjoy.